I invite you to stand, if you are able, for the gathering of the faithful. Come now, beloved, for this is the Lord's day, and we rejoice in it. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. If anyone believes in me, even though she die, yet shall she live. In the shadow of your wings, I will wait, O Lord. In the shadow of your wings, I will wait, O Lord. O oh, wait for the Lord. Have courage and wait for the Lord. Amen. You may be seated. Charlie and family, when I was in seminary, one of my classmates was a woman who was 25 years my senior from the Philippines. She lived during World War II, and she told us how powerful Psalm 46 was for her 
and her faith unity in her family. She said, when the bombs were falling and we didn't know if we would live through the day, we would recite this song and know that even in the bleakest of hours, God was with us. Listen for God's word from the 46th Psalm. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear though the earth should move, though the mountains be toppled into the depths of the sea, though its waters rage and foam, and though the mountains tremble at its tumult. The Lord of hosts is with us, the God of Jacob is our stronghold. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy habitation of the Most High. God is in the midst of the city, it shall not be overthrown. God shall help it at the break of the day. The nations make much ado, and the realms are shaken. God has spoken, and the earth shall melt away. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Come now and look upon the works of the Lord. What awesome things God has done. It is the Lord who makes the wars to cease and all the world, who breaks the bow and shatters the spear and burns the shields with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Amen. This seems me so today, and the beauty of tomorrow, and if I'm far beyond, the days that we're given here, we go to touch the stars, I will look upon it, may we feel the strength of one, when we go into the sky. to the Corinthians. 
but in fact Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have died. For since death came through a human being, the resurrection of the dead has also come through a human being. For as all have died in Adam, so all will also be made alive in Christ. But each in his own order, Christ the firstfruits, then at his coming those who belong to Christ. Then comes the end when he hands over the kingdom to God the Father after he has destroyed every ruler and every authority and power. For he must reign until he has put all of his enemies under his feet. The last enemy to be destroyed is death. For this perishable body must put on imperishability and this mortal body must put on immortality. When this perishable body puts on imperishability, and this mortal body puts on immortality, then the saying written will be fulfilled. Death where has been swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your victory? Where, O oh death, is your sting? The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved, be steadfast, immovable, always excelling in the work of the Lord, because you know that in the Lord your labor is not in vain.